everyone, Mary here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to do a quick um, makeup with my essential makeup and then I'm going to go ahead and review the Jolie Calibri um, Coastal Scents palette that they have sent me. So that's what it looks like and um, we're going to go through the colors and uh, try it out for an eye makeup look. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm going to start with the Derma Blend and the powder brush. Let's do this one. The e.l.f. powder brush and the Derma Blend. And honestly, I've already primed my face, so I don't really I'm not gonna show you how I primed it, but What I like about Derma Blend, and it's on my Kiss of Approval section of my blog, is that um, it covers really, really well, and it does not feel heavy at all on the face. So if you see, it's already starting to cover. I only need like maybe two layers of this to completely cover um, all my. I don't even have blemishes anymore after my pregnancy. Um, my face has gotten relatively like good. So um, what I do is I just cover the acne marks from where all of these blemishes used to be. And so there you have it. Looks pretty good. What I do is I go extra under the eye. And there you go. I also do a little bit on my eyelid just because I want to create a little bit more of a primer on the eyes before I do the eyes. So then I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, Pixie Highlight and Contour Palette. This is one of my favorite um, palettes so far. What I do is I go ahead and I take my angled brush for um, this here. And since it's still daytime, I don't wanna go crazy, so I'm just going to do a subtle contour, very, very um, subtle. I don't want it to look too much made up and there you go for the contour I used the caviar dreams then we're going to go ahead and use a, do a little bit of a tint on my cheekbones so I'm gonna use uh, this brush that I have here with the boss lady it's actually not supposed to be a blush, but I use it as a blush because I like that color that it gives. It's, and I like that it's a little bit shimmery, so it gives me a little bit of a glow. I do it on a little bit of my nose, and there we go. That is about it for that. And then, of course, your highlight. So I go like that, and I highlight a little bit here. I highlight a little bit there on the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow. And that is pretty much it for that. Um, like I said, it's a very subtle look for during the day, so I'm not going to go all out. Then um, I normally take my pixie um, balm and I just swish it all over my lips, like so. I like the color. This is called um, Ripe Raspberry. It smells really good. Um, I like the color because it's not too out, you know, like in your face like a red is, but it's also not too subtle where like you can't tell you have it on. I really like um, this color a lot. I use it like every day. Now if I want a little bit of gloss, I'll either use the Marc Jacobs um, little gloss on top of that
or I will use the um, Lip Inflation by Sally Hansen. But I really like the Marc Jacobs one right now. All right, so now I'm moving on to the palette because I'm already pretty much done with my face. I don't like to do too much in the face and make it look cakey and like I feel that nowadays makeup artists just pile this shit on their face and it's just so terrible for your skin and also like you don't need that much really um you're just going for a nice subtle look you don't you don't want all that crap but anyways okay so this is the palette that they sent me it's called the Jolie Calibri Coastal Sense Palette and what I really like about it is that it has your um kind of like very moody fall colors as you can see uh, I'm going to try to swatch them a little bit so we're going to start with the pink you can see that I don't know if you can see that but it's really nice really shimmery then we're going to go on to this and what I don't like about this is that it doesn't have like what the color names are so I'm just going to name them you know like like purple um, this is like a mauve color it's very nice um, then we have a darkish like maroony mauve color uh, then we have the silver silver color um, The pigmentation is all right. Um, it could be a little bit better, but it's it's not the worst. I think some colors are better than others. If you can see that, uh, this one's definitely going to be like super bright. And then we have the light blue here, and the bright blue there, and then the dark dark blue there and then black obviously black is always black <laughs> so those are like all the color swatches you can like kind of see but I'm going to kind of um, do a little bit of a I'm gonna say so I'm gonna take this mauve color and I'm just going to swish it up here just to give me that like effect of the cat eye a little bit and bring it out a little bit more. This is pretty much probably the only color I'm going to use right now. As you can see, that's pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, I would probably, for like a more dramatic look, I would probably follow that up in the very crease with a black, but um, I'm not doing that because it's still daytime. Probably for like a night, day to night look. Um, I'm gonna try to do this day to night look uh, pretty soon with this palette I'm going to take that same color and just brush it on the bottom and there you have it and then that's it and that's what I'm going to follow it up with uh, eyeliner and mascara and that's like about it that really truly is it and like you can see I don't look crazy but it looks you know like I do have makeup on like I, I, I made an effort today oh my god all right it looks like I made an effort today. So, A for effort, guys. And that is about it. And then I go in with my little curly lash thing eye curler um, normally I would heat up the curler a little bit with um, a 
uh, blow dryer to kind of like do like a curling iron effect and make it last a lot longer but um, yeah and I will also do like individual lashes on the outsides right now I'm not going to do that but I will show you how to do that in my next video um, because sometimes I want the dramatic effect but I don't want it to be too crazy either uh, where is my mascara there it is so this is LA Colors um, Luxe Lash mascara uh, I'm a big fan of Maybelline mascaras which I have all over my bathroom but right now this is the one that I have in my makeup bag so it's like the closest one right now and there you have it I've said this before like I have my eyebrows microbladed so I never really have to do my eyebrows and I love it I love the fact that I never have to like fill them in or do them plus I have really thick eyebrows so I don't need that as either I will however go like on the edge here and kind of like bring it out just a slight bit more just a tiny bit more and that's it that is all guys so now you have it you have my quick um everyday makeup look and um you know my jolene calibri palette um i like it i really do i really do the only thing i don't like is that i don't know what the names of these things are so i can't tell you what they are but just know that it's uh, light pink and light blue and you know the good stuff so Anyways, I am so glad that you are here with me today. I know that I've been MIA for a little while. I'm going to try to do more videos um, and have more content for you guys, but um, give me a little bit of time because I'm still trying to put a lot of things together and with my own business, um, you know, trying to revamp and getting a lot more work, it's been a little hectic. So just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.